Penso que com o Benjamin Hassan, agora para a final do Del Monte dos Golden Open. Benjamin, congrats, a great win for you against the top seed. Your first thoughts about this win, please. Again, sorry, the last one. First thoughts about this win, please. Uh, unbelievable. I played really good match today. Um, I think the best in Portugal right now because I played three times in Portugal and mm -hmm. I didn't play like this today. But uh, I also needed to play like this to beat him. Uh, I knew that from the beginning I have to play aggressive. Um, not to play too much rallies with him because he's dominating with his forehand, lefty forehand. So my tactics uh, went good and I was able to play like this. Um, yeah, and I'm really happy to play and uh, to be in the final. Were you surprised by the match with the performance? You seemed more fit than you for, for the match. Yes, I'm physically I'm very fit. Um, I just played two sets all the time, I think. Maybe in Praga I played one, yeah. no, two, three setters in the beginning, but uh, physically I'm feeling well, I have no problems, so I'm ready to go for tomorrow. Yeah. And yesterday you, you won against Oriol, you beat you last, last week, so you got some revenge, like you said, in the question to be on court. How important was it for you in terms of confidence? It was more mentally matched yeah. for me yesterday, um, but for him I think also uh, was tough conditions for us both. But we had a good match, a tough match. Um, Tiebreaker played really good, same as today. So that was really good for me. And then the second set was really tight. Huh? We broke each other four times, or like two times each. So four, we had four breaks in the second set directly. Um, this could go any direction. It could be 4-0 for him, it could be 4-0 for me. So it was really tough. Um, but I'm happy I fought. I was maybe physically a little bit better than Roca yesterday. Um, but yeah, he played unbelievable tournament, huh? so and he can go home now. <laughs> and it was quite hot today, maybe a bit more similar to, to what you felt in Braga. How do you feel on court in these conditions today? Uh, I feel much more, um, much better here, because it's a bit faster than mm -hmm. in Braga. And Braga was really slow, so I had to run more and couldn't play that aggressive. Uh, here it's really fast, I like it, not windy. Uh, I'm used to it in Noeros, that it's really windy and you cannot play. But here it's perfect, really. Uh, weather is always good, no rain, nothing. Um, and it's fast, so I like it. Well, mm -hmm. well, we have Google in the internet, but can you tell us a bit more about your story of your life? Should you have any background in sports uh, with your family <laughs> and uh, from today and career goals? Yes, um, there's not much actually, because I was a hobby player since like till 22. Mm -hmm. I didn't play uh, much in my juniors. Um, to tennis I came through my father, my father was also playing tennis, Davis Cup for Lebanon, and he's still a coach. Uh, yes, until I think till 10, to 12, I was trying to become professional in that way, um, and then I lost my interest. I don't know why, but I lost interest, I uh, focused on school a little bit, mm -hmm. and uh, started to uh, study in Germany, mm -hmm. university. And then with 22 it came. 22, I mean before with 18, 19 I played some futures but not a lot, like 5, 6 per year in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, and then with 22 we had the first challenger in Koblenz, my hometown in Germany. Mm -hmm. And I got the wild card there and I played a really good match against Gabashvili. I lost in 3 sets but was really good without practice. So then that was the moment where I said, okay, now I maybe I try because if he's 200 or he was top 100 for a long time and without practice I can, I can keep up with him. Um, yeah, why not? Why not try to become professional? Practice and let's see what's like where I'm going. And uh, even if this doesn't work out, I can still study afterwards. Mm -hmm. And this is what I did. And um, with 22, I started, and it went really fast. Mm -hmm. And then I had these some years where I stuck with three, four hundred. And uh, yeah, this year is the first time I'm under two hundred, so I'm really happy. Did you finish your studies in ATP? No, 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 no. I had uh, three or four semesters. Um, Do you share? I uh, tried to become a teacher. English become a teacher? Teacher, yes. English and sport in the university. Yeah. Te uh, teacher of English? No, a uh, teacher of English and sport. You have to do two subjects in Germany. Okay. Yeah. I don't you know how it's here. I don't uh, know. Do you like to teach? Uh, I could imagine. Yeah. I could imagine. Nowadays, I don't know. I try, <laughs> I try to play more. But uh, after, maybe. maybe. Do you have anyone in your family that is a teacher? Teacher? No. 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 Your father is a coach? No, coach. Yeah. I can always go coach if I want after my career, um, but yeah, I still don't know. I haven't thought. You never thought thought to go to the United States to the university, to the college. Again? You never thought, for example, you thought to go to the United States to um, the college. I thought about it, 
but then I had some good friends who went to college uh, before me in the States and they came back fat and not playing good tennis <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> they, were drink, they were drinking and partying and I said okay no if I go there I won't I won't do like that. Well but do you have any career goals in terms of professional tennis? Um, yes. What is your dream? Top 100 would be my dream. I mean, uh, I had goals for the year. The goal was to be top 250 and to play a Grand Slam quali. Mm -hmm. Didn't work out, but now I'm safe for Australia, so that's, yeah. that's one goal. Um, and now, of course, I'm trying to go as far as I can. So, top 100. Okay. Yeah. I was going to ask you about that. How special is it for you to make the Fed for, for Melbourne? For Melbourne, really, really nice. Uh, I enjoy it. I wish, like, I was close to use Open also. But I'm really happy that it's Australian. The only thing I'm not happy about is the flight. <laughs> <laughs> I hate flying so much. And 22 hours is tough for me. But I'm happy. I'm really happy. Tomorrow we have the second final of the season. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Good. Uh, one on hardcourt, one on clay. Um, I never know where I'm playing better, hardcourt or clay. But the results show I play good on both. Uh, I'm really happy now, but I want to win also. I don't know. I have six semi-finals, two finals, I want to win also one challenger, it would be nice. I think you, you played once against uh, Colombi this year. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling against uh, Oh, Flavio is, is a good friend. Uh, we played together in Germany in the club matches, the first Bundesliga. Mm -hmm. um, we played two times against each other, one time he won, one time I won. So it's going to be close, maybe emotional, I don't know. Um, but we know each other good, we know each other good, we know what to expect, we know, I think, our tactics, so it's going to be interesting, I think. Well, congrats. Thank you. On the win. Sorry if I'm missing one of those replies that you had, but it seems like one of those days when everything went well for you, mm -hmm. drop shots and uh, passing shots and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the best wins of your career, uh, I think the third Yes. Where do you rate your performance uh, comparing to others that you had in the past, uh, this season or uh, in the other season? I mean, I'm really confident going against top 100 guys because yes. I know I have nothing to lose. I can play my game and they maybe be surprised. So I, mm -hmm. have, I think I have a lot of top 100 uh, wins. Uh, also in Stuttgart on grass against Sapulian and one week later he plays quarterfinals in Wimbledon. So uh, I'm really playing better up. But um, you also have to deliver, you know, you have to, you have to play good. Um, I would rate 9.5 <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah. It was one of the best performances of the season? Or? Of the season for sure, but I think I also played better matches. Okay. It's still going up. <laughs> That's good for me. <laughs> when you beat a guy like him, former top 20, mm -hmm. where do you think you can, you can go? Do you, you think you, you can be in, in his shoes in top 20? No, in his shoes is tough because he was for a long time top 20, top 30. This mm -hmm. consistency is, has nothing to do with like this match once. Mm -hmm. You have to play good tennis for 10 years. Mm -hmm. This is the tough thing. So once everyone can play good and win. Um, but what these guys are doing better or what I did this year, for example, better is to um, win matches even if you play bad. This is what I did, uh, not today of course, today I played good, but the whole season, um, I think this is the reason why I'm not top 200, because I have more matches where I don't feel good, where I don't play this, this good as today, but I'm still able to win and to, uh, I don't know, to, to move on. So this is, I think, uh, the secret, and this is probably what uh, most of the top 100 guys are doing, because these days you don't have a lot, you have maybe one or two per, per year, where you, where, you don't, where you close your eyes and everything went good. So, you have to win even if you play shit. Can I say shit? Uh, <laughs> 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 It's on the record, so. <laughs> <laughs>